Did you just buy a new C920 webcam or some similar type of camera and it looks like this? Or maybe it even looks like, I don't know, this bad? And then again, it might even look like this or like this right here. Well, I'm gonna show you today how to make it look much better like this right now. Alrighty, here we are and I'm in Streamlabs OBS. This will work fine for OBS and this will also work for fixing a lot of other of the webcams that a lot of people will buy because you don't want to drop like 500, 600, 7, 1000, 1500 dollars on a super expensive camera. But it's super easy. The main problem what this is going to end up being is in over here, right click on video capture and go to properties. If you're in regular OBS, it says Streamlabs, you can do the similar thing here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and go to configure video right here. Now it will pop up. Now the first thing you want to do is go through in any of these things under properties, uncheck anything that's under the auto mode, anything that's set to auto, kaboom, kaboom. And it's already way better. That's just unchecking the stuff that's on auto. Never, never, ever have that stuff on auto. I'm going to go ahead and reopen the properties thing. I did that just so you can kind of see me over here. But first of all, um, sometimes this will be down like this and you can see how slow it is. And also it's incredibly bright, incredibly bright. Let's say the brightness is down just so you can kind of see it. Look how slow this is. If you have anything like that, that's where you want to click on this other tab over here, camera control, and it's under exposure. Um, everybody will usually run this at five. You see the speed there, or depending on how much light you have, you can run it at six and it's even smoother. The higher you go, it'll be smoother. But also, if it is incredibly dark like this, the uh, right here, you can barely even see me. Uh, that is going to be the exposure. So five or six. A lot of people run it at five. Uh, I like to run it at six so it's smoother, but it does require more light. and You do have to turn up the gain. Now, that's another thing. If it's too dark, if at five, you don't have enough light, it'll be down like this. Turn up the gain. If it's at five, I usually have it right around a hundred, right around a hundred uh, on number five here. You can see the motion. It's not too bad. And that way you'll have the brightness, right? If you have it at six, uh, I tend to turn the brightness up to uh, maybe around just under 200. And once again, this is kind of a sense of how bright you want it to be. Now, if you're looking too pale in the face or whatever, um, then you can look right here at the white balance. You can turn the white balance up. You don't want to go too high because then you can see I'm red and you'll end up with this problem right here. You want to have the white balance right about here is the max. That's a little bit too high. So boom, right there. That looks like a good for me. If you still have a problem, sometimes you'll have this stuff set right, but it will be, it'll look mega gray like this. See how gray my face is. Um, it'll be real smooth and it'll look okay. Sometimes the saturation right here is good, but other times specifically for the C920i will have this issue where I'll have to turn the, the, the saturation up to probably over 220. Right now, that's not how it's looking, but right around the standard there at 128 is where you want it. Brightness and contrast, generally, I never have to touch that. It's usually only the saturation, the white balance, adjusting the gain based upon where you have that exposure at. The zoom, just have it all the way turned down. And like I said, exposure, have it at minus six or minus five, depending on how you want it, and then adjust the gain accordingly. So that'll just adjust how smooth it is. Never ever allow any of this stuff to stay checked. And with adjusting it this way, unfortunately, every time you close OBS, you're gonna have to reset all of these things in order to get your C920 to continue looking real good like this right here.